Hi there, so in this video I just want to take you through how to set up uh, Soulcast within your Give Energy Cloud dashboard and how to create an account on Soulcast, mainly so you can kind of look at and see uh, what the forecast might be for your solar panels in the next few days. I think it's really, really good idea, um, especially coming into the winter, if you need to kind of try and predict whether to um, put energy into your battery overnight on cheap rate electricity, or whether to just let the sun do it in the winter and hopefully it will be sunny. So let's get on with it. So you can have in your Give Energy dashboard, you can have the Soulcast API settings so that when you come in your dashboard, you can actually see um, what's happened over the last three days on your system and what the forecast is for the next three days on your system. Now, I think this is a really good thing because I'm hoping that in the winter time, um, when you don't know if it's going to be sunny or not, and you may want to pre-charge your battery overnight on cheap rate electricity, you'll be able to look forward into the next three days to see uh, what the forecast for the solar generation is going to be. And then it's up to you how much you're going to charge your battery, whether you're going to fully charge it, half charge it, or not bother at all, if you think the generation is going to be really good. Now, the last three days has already happened. Um, and look at the how close it is. Uh, on there the estimated's in the blue and the actual is in the kind of yellow so it's pretty good actually this this setup and it's free to use so what we're going to do now is i'm just going to go through uh by going to the soulcast website and creating an account and show you how to set that up and then we'll come back in um, to the give energy cloud dashboard and i'll show you how to install it in there but you don't have to be a Give Energy user or customer uh, in order to use this Soulcast forecaster. You could just log into their website uh, and look at it there, or you can actually use their API uh, in another program to uh, query the data. Right, so going to Soulcast, basically type Soulcast into a uh, web browser. And you'll get this up so you just need to go to the soulcast website soulcast.com from here we can click on try it now and you'll come into the registration screen Now, there's three options along the top here business for commercial use student um, or a public researcher with 10 api requests per day only or the my home system which i went for uh, this one gives you 20 API requests per day, which is fine because you only really need to, you know, query it, use one or two really a day. Um, so we're going to choose that one. So we're going to choose my home. The first thing you need to do is enter your first name, your last name, your email address, and then create a password for yourself. Okay. Um, and then click on, yes, I'm a home hobbyist account, and then press continue. So once you've created your uh, login and you've got in, you need to create your uh, rooftop site. Now, as I've already done it, this is on the update screen, but really it looks the same as this. So I've just given it a site name of home. I haven't put any tags in there. Now you need to do a location search. So if, for instance, I put in uh, London, I can put in my details and you can put a specific place in or as roughly as you want with your latitude and longitude. And then you come down and you need to put the capacity AC in kilowatts. Now, this is your inverter. So mine's a four kilowatt inverter. And then you need to put in the capacity on the DC side on your solar modules. So in total, I've got 5.4. So I've added that in there. <clears throat> and then your azimuth, which is basically um, south is 180. North is zero. It starts off with zero. Uh, you can probably get these details from your solar quote actually that's where i got mine from saying i was 14 degrees off south so i took 14 off of 180 to give me 166 and that's what i entered there and then the tilt on the horizontal that should also be in your solar details that you got from your installer uh, my roof is 35 degrees and the installation date, mine was installed on the 21st of March, 2022. And the efficiency factor starts off at 90. Uh, I left it at 90 to start off with, but I found out that the, um, the forecast was slightly under forecast. So I basically uh, 
upped my efficiency factor as the panels are quite new to 95 percent and it then mirrored more uh, what I was actually getting so you might need to play about with that figure and the efficiency factor a little bit and then you just need to press save and you're done so on the top of my account here you can see I've got free tier allowance uh, I've got 48 of 50 requests per day remaining then when you come back in, you'll find this is if obviously if you whether you've got a give energy system or not, you'll find that this forecasting um, is here and you can play about with this and you can get graph accuracies uh, for the days ahead and the days previously and looking for the live forecasts as well for the days ahead. Now, once you've come in here, it says find your API key here. Now, you're going to need that API key uh, to enter into the Give Energy Cloud. You're also going to need this resource ID up here as well. Another place to find your API is up here. Look, your API key in the menu on the top right hand side. That's really all you need to do. And then you can come out of this system if you want to. So then what we need to do is go to the dashboard and find the solar power forecast square and hit this four arrow cube here and that's going to bring you to this screen the solcast api toolkit so you need to enter your api key here which uh, i showed you where to get that and then your resource ID, which I showed you as well, and then just the number of days, histories and forecasts that you want. And once you've submitted your credentials, you should then see this graphic. Uh, so you can look at three days behind, three days ahead, because that's what you've chosen. Or if you click on the today, you can see what today is happening or you can see what happened yesterday or you can see what should be happening, which is forecast for tomorrow so that's it really i just think it's a really great addition um, for forecasting to know what's up and coming uh, in the future well thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed the video if you found it useful please give us a like uh, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel i'll see you soon